Hey Pandanistas, Peter Von Panda here. I just wanted to show you some printouts that I received from uh, one of the contestants on Motor City Masters this season. To be honest, Motor City Masters may only be a one season type of show, but uh, Darby Jean Barber uh, was the smoking hot, super talented, totally cool, super young, gifted uh, designer on that show who went very far and for good reason. She's just a talented artist with a great creative mind. But anyway, she has a website. You can check it out at darbyjeanb.com uh, and follow her on Twitter. Uh, these are some works that I believe she did for class. Yes, I believe she is still in school. This much raw talent has certainly got to be utilized at a, an automaker at some point. But she recently drew some pictures here and she has a number of additional pictures that she drew on her website which includes things other than cars so just like i said a, a totally gifted designer i i think uh this one to me looks like a design inspired by the 60s era corvettes kind of that uh, split window type uh you know these really uh sculpted but ridged fender lines and then that uh uh, sloping tapering uh, fastback design and what kind of says Corvette to me is that center tailpipe with uh, the the faux fuel filler cap there which maybe is a real one but it's really awesome uh, she not only printed these out but then actually signed them herself so Darby Jean in that corner and then I also ordered a second one here which I actually don't know what it is, but it's super cool. It looks like a uh, almost a polished kind of satin chrome looking car. Could be like a BMW 8 Series. I'm sure if you went on the website, there might be some uh, explanation of what it is. Uh, it doesn't have that dual kidney kind of grill that gives it away as a BMW, but I, you know, it's it actually kind of looks like a Jeep grill, a Jeep made. Uh, awesome sports cars. I, I absolutely love her wheel design. If you watch the show and you looked at that ultimate tailgating car, she really kind of scored on that. It really screamed to me like athletic footwear, the way she kind of pushes the rim all the way out. She doesn't kind of give into the convention. She's really, in my uh, book, a designer's designer in, in terms of you design what you want to see, what you aspire that uh, uh, to be built. Um, a lot, some designers are kind of very practical about what can be mass produced, what's a, a normal evolution for the car. I just see in her designs, her kind of pushing the limits, being bold, saying this is what I'd like to see uh, the, the, the conventional wisdom be darned. And like I said, all of these look like they could be produced, but I just am, I'm really thrilled to see a designer that has some some bold uh, designs and skill to uh, kind of push the limits here. So uh, these are gonna get framed to put in my office uh, and I'll probably look for some more pictures on the the uh, the website to, to add as time goes on. Um, this is also a call out to automotive designer Jason White to start making some of his artwork available because I wanna get some of that on my wall too. But check it out at darbygenb.com. Cool girl, really active, lots of different interests. Uh, follow her on Twitter too. Peter Von Panda. Oh, before I sign off, I got these printed, signed by her, and shipped to me for 20 bucks a piece. Pretty good deal, I think, from a, I, from a name that I think will be uh, pretty famous in the automotive design world. Now, Peter Von Panda, out.